doing. You can't just sit on your ass all day just because I wouldn't let you hang out with your friends. Unless you start being responsible, you're never going to get your independence. You've got to start focusing on your schoolwork. You've got to start spending time with your family. And you've got to start figuring out what's important because you're almost an adult. Unless you gain some respect from authority, you're never going to get your freedom. Your brother and sister are fine. I don't understand what your problem is, but it's really time to start figuring these things out. You dilly-dally. You, you don't care about anything that's going on in this house or in your life, and that's really getting old. You have got to start figuring out what you're doing. Dear Grandpa. Do something to put up there. I'm sick of you being so irresponsible. You always say that although you cannot run away from your problems, if you run, your problems will go away. Power is important. Family and schoolwork. Family and schoolwork. Every day I am beginning to understand this more and more. Running from me has become something greater than an escape from my issues. Somehow I feel so separated from everything going on in my life, yet so much more aware of my environment. My mind is also running. I am forced to confront thoughts that I had once found distractions for. I refuse to keep having this conversation with you. I feel my thoughts. When I am angry, I run fast. I battle the ground that lies ahead through kicking the road. My anger manifests itself as a fire building within me that is released through sweat. The negative perspective I had prior to the run is contrasted with the perception of all things around me. Recurring thoughts that I have on runs tell me what I need to work on. Only when I run can I remove myself from situations troubling me. Only when I run do I feel I have the slightest understanding about the world in which I live. Only when I run do I feel I am with you. Although you can't hear me, and never will, your words speak to me every day, and always will. Sincerely, Griffin.